comic fam. This is what it's about. We're talking about comic books. We are now going to be hitting you with the last part of the show. We have not $10 keys. Not $10. That's the title? Not $10 keys. No, no, it's called. Snappy. $20 keys. Oh, my goodness. Over on Key Collector Comics, there's a category. It's blown right now. They have 10, 20, 50, 100. They have different, different categories. What I did is I scrubbed tirelessly through so many different comic books that appealed to me. That if I saw for 20 bucks right now, if I hit the, if I hit the store, my LCS, and I saw this book for 20 bucks in high grade, I'd be grabbing it. So I figured, let's make a list of them. 10 books that are 20 bucks, key comic books that I am interested in. And I think you should be too. And comic fam, we got fire guy right in the house. Let's make Ryan it happen. I am here. Use the Kotam 101 on key collector comics. Unlock the entire app. Keep up on your spec. Take a look at the category. And let's talk about some great affordable key books that you should be considering right now because Venom first host is on it. We have the first appearance of the sleeper. Okay, let's look at what Key Collector says here. This right here is the first appearance of Sleeper, the result of Eddie Brock bonding with the infant symbiote. Okay, we've talked about this book before plenty of times. Um, We had the first host that was needing Venom for some nefarious tasks. And his plan was to retrieve Venom because they essentially had a connection from long ago. Um, Talkar is his name. And... He is threatening the infant symbiote that was just created. And the way that Eddie saves the infant is by trading the Venom symbiote for it. So because he loses Venom, which is a terrible situation, he now has the infant symbiote, Sleeper. And what's Sleeper doing right now? Right now, currently? Yeah. Hanging out with Dylan? That's right. Major, like, side character. He's, he's still in the mix in the current Venom book. So. That's right. You know, Al Ewing on Venom right now. But this book is down. And I suspect that this book is down because Donny Case left Venom. Dylan and and this whole Venom narrative is changed hands of writers. So we're only like one, two issues in. Two issues in. Two issues in now. I need to read issue number two. Issue one was solid, you know. I like it. I miss Kate's on it, to be honest. I do Uh, miss Kate's. I hate saying that, but. he's 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 on Hulk. He's on Hulk, though. Right? Which is also pretty cool. But then, you know what? I miss Al Ewing on Hulk. Ah! But you know, well, Rom V is also ah! on Venom. You can't, you can't forget Rom V. The emotions, comic fan. He's forgetting Rom V. It's okay. I know Rom V, man. Dude, I love two Rom writers v. on Venom. It's pretty fun. I'm it's, enjoying it. Yeah, we get like two narratives. It's okay. I, I'm in it. That's why you got to read issue two, Transitional man. Transitional fo- period. They focus on one of them. This is not what it's about. Mm. We're talking about Venom First Host 3, which is down in price. It's, a, it's the sleeper key. And... It's a character that's still in the Venom narrative that could be utilized again. And you know, if you're ever interested in getting this comic book, now may be one of the better times because on the downtrend. That's what that red arrow means over there. It is on the way down. That's right. But you know, like how far down is it going to go? It's not going to go down that far. So if you're interested in getting it for the PC, great opportunity. If you're getting it for spec, great opportunity. Not a lot of attention on the book. People are focusing on all these other things. You know, We're, we're watching Hawkeye. Kate Bishop, where you at? So... No one's looking at sleeper. Don't let it be a sleeper. Let's keep it going. Don't sleep on sleeper. Oh, what a freaking transition that was. Hot damn. All right, Moon Knight 188. We got the Sun King, the Avatar of Ra. We have Moon Knight spec that is still affordable. What? It's 2021, almost 2022. What did I just say? Rewind it. If I had the soundboard, I would do a rewind. Moon Knight spec that is still affordable? What? Mm -hmm. Doesn't even make sense. Let's see what Key Collector has to say about it. We have... Moon Knight 188, the first appearance of Sun King, the Avatar of Ra. A leaked image of Ethan Hawke on set appears similar to the character, but the jumpsuit could be concealing clothing. That would be a hint at the character's identity. Dracula, Randall Spector are also favored speculative options for the Hawk uh, for the for Hawk's role. Hawkeye so, on the noggin. So Ethan Hawke is going to be in Moon Knight, which in it, in and of itself is something I didn't know. Oh, you know what else? Ethan Hawke is in. The Purge. He's in the Purge. Yeah. It's, first, it's like we Full planned circle. the whole thing. It's all connected. Ancient aliens. Comic fam. Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> so Why did we talk? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was about Eternals. We're talking about Eternals. All right, okay. yeah, yeah. So Moon Knight 188, $20. It's still on the, high, on, on the rise, but this is something that keeps on coming back on spec radar because we don't know who Ethan Hawke's going to be. However, what we do know is that he's going to be a villain, and I'm hoping that he's going to be a character that's going to be more akin to an anti-hero a villain turning into a kind of riding the fence type of villain because I don't want Ethan Hawke to just come in and get killed. 
Right? Like a, like a Michael B. Jordan. Like, right. show up for one movie, do really well, and then die at the end. No, and, no, no. And Put him in the, in the pit, bring him back. You know, kind of thing. Hmm. So, um, this right here is a character who is v- essentially Moon Knight, but a little bit more disturbed. Pyro, pyro telekinesis. Like pyro power, kinesis. Fire powers? Yeah, he can generate flames. He burns people up. He also has mental problems. And he worships the sun god. Very similar to Mark Spector. So, that's why it's kind of like, ah, it seems like this actually really could be a thing. A little fitting. And when you look at Ethan Hawke in the picture, he's got like a beard and the long hair, same as the sun god. So anyways, a, a, as a, a sun king, rather. Could be him. I don't know. But 20 bucks seems like Or he could like play Mephisto. Sp- could be Mephisto. Okay, we have a one in 25. You want to know how a book That's is? Cool. This is how you know a book is on the rise for spec. You look at the variants and see what they're going for. The one in 25 is hitting $125 average highs. Hot damn, comic fam. Variant by Daniel Warren Johnson. And I got to point out the second print because it's so damn sexy. Did I put it in here? I didn't. There is a second print of this book. Uh, I man, apologize, cool comic cover. fam. Just show the phone on the camera. That'll work. It is the, uh, it's an homage <laughs> to Moon Knight uh, on the Bill S. run, and I didn't grab it. Drop the ball. Uh, I dropped the, the ball. Whole, the, whole the whole thing, thing. is ruined. Want to start, restart the whole podcast? Let's just restart. Ha, better yet, just pull up Key Collector Comics and check it out yourself. Okay, <laughs> next one. So that's number nine. Um, number eight on our list. We have Marvel Secret Wars issue number seven. Now, Weird. whenever you get a chance to talk about a book from this run that's not number eight, that is spec worthy, you gotta bring it up because everyone's after eight. But why are we talking about number seven? It's because it's a double key. Okay. What happens First. when I say double key? When I say double key, you're supposed to also do like the double key. So when it's because it's a double key. Double key. There it is. Double key. That's good. Double key. All right. So we have Marvel Superhero Secret Wars 7. Um, part seven of Secret Wars, a full appearance. First full appearance of Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter. It's also the first battle between She-Hulk and Titania. Now, we know Titania is slated for She-Hulk, and I think this is going to be the surprise hit. A lot of people weren't hyped about Hawkeye. Hawkeye has now become my favorite Disney Disney Plus show. For real? I've only seen the first episode, so I'm, I'm behind. But it's fine. The first one's good. It gets better. I'm sure it does. It gets so damn good. I'm probably going to go do that after I'm done here. Echo. Dude, they basically redid the whole Echo origin straight, straight from the gallery of David Mack. Sold. It is so damn good. Okay. So this right here, 20 bucks. It's kind of on the rise, but this book is low key ignored because everyone's after eight. Double key status, double key, double key, and we have an affordable book that has She-Hulk spec. Don't sleep on it. Let's keep it rolling. We have what is this? Ten, nine, eight, number seven on the list. Alpha Flight Fifty One. Jim Lee on the interiors at Marvel for the first time. Twenty dollars average sales. An Alpha Flight book that no one talks about, no one knows about really. First full issue with interior artwork by Jim Lee at Marvel Comics. This right here is, in my opinion criminally undervalued in this market. Everyone's after like X-Men 1. I get it. It's cool. Did he do the cover for this book? Maybe that's why people are slipping people's mind because it's not on the front. I don't know. know. No, it's just interior. This isn't Jim. That's not Jim Lee on the cover. I could be wrong. First full interior Jim Lee Marvel book. Yeah, I think it's just $20. It's stupid. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm saying, dude. It doesn't make sense. Well, it's, it's Alpha Flight, so people kind of are turned off by that, and it's issue fifty-one. I mean, it's it's not it's not an easy one to just pick up and read fifty-one issues into a run. So that's right. It, it, it's affordable. This is one you got to keep on your hunt list. This is one that I imagine one of these days, maybe it's tomorrow, maybe it's the next day, maybe it's a year from now, maybe it's ten years from now. But there's going to be people going, "Wait a minute, Jim Lee did his first interior Marvel on Alpha Flight fifty-one nine eight? Hmm. Yeah, I'll pay three hundred dollars mm. for it. I, I can see that happening. Absolutely. You see how much people pay for original Jim Lee artwork, and it's like, dude, I saw I saw some like stuff that. Oh man, I don't want to get into it. I'm I'm seeing like the like the CGC private signings and the, some of the sketches that people are paying for, and to each their own. I think it's awesome. However, some people are getting like there's not like hundreds of dollars on a sketch. It's like on a white comic, like a full blank sketch comic. One of one, Tom. It's like this big. It's like a little head, like this. I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. If it was like Mignola, I would pay that too. So like to each their own. However, Jim Lee, ooh, gets expensive. Yeah. How is Alpha Flight 51 only $20 and high grade? 
This X-Men, is exactly if the you're kind an of X, book. If you're an X-Men fan, you need that a 9-8. Right. This is the book I would just flip right past if I was flipping through a bin. Okay. That's, that's a mistake. Now, I've already told you about my love for Ant-Man. <laughs> All right. Bueller gave me this book. Yeah, you got this book from the Bubes, man. The Bubes sent That's me. Right. I think it was like one of those. It was a mystery box he did or something, and he popped this one in there, and I I didn't know what it was. I think, and I just immediately used it as like a giveaway or oh, well, karma or something because it spiked because of Ant Man uh, two. Yeah, he got a little little nice. salty with me. So <laughs> I love you, Bueller. <laughs> we love Bueller, man. Iron Man two nineteen first appearance of Ghost. Um, Confirm, uh, is it all but confirmed? Let's, let's take a look at Key Collector. Ghost may be reprised in Quantum Mania as teased by the actress in an interview about her upcoming Resident Evil role. Yeah, because she's going to be playing Jill freaking Valentine. Oh, yeah, we're getting a whole like remake of Resident Evil that may be closer to like the horror roots that it once was, like Silent Hill esque horror. Good. Oh, that's what I want. And I skipped those movies. Jill Valentine. This actress may actually like blow up and then people will be looking at her again. You know what? Yelena Belova? Midsummer? 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 The May Queen? The May Queen? My Queen? My May Queen? Oh. Hot well, damn. What's that got to do with it? I'm just saying, like, <laughs> just, I just, just want to talk like, about Midsummer. Uh, if I can just bring up Ari Aster, I'm going to do brought it, it up at our, at our <laughs> holiday <laughs> dinner the other day, too. My mom did not like that movie. I right? was on the very other end of the table. There's a long table. Uh, Ryan's like, I'm hearing Tom talk about hereditary. Yeah, here's Tom. Like, like, gets up, walks to the other end. What are we talking about? Yeah, let's let's talk about hereditary, guys. Uh, it's a I great time. All right, anyways. It's a good night. 20 bucks. Villain that is all but confirmed for another rendition, another reprisal of the role, rather. And she was very, like, this is not a whole lot of screen time in Ant-Man 2. So I think there's going to be more to this character in more than one movie. Any villain that's confirmed for a show hitting $20 for the first appearance is that's underpriced. It's undervalued. Whether you liked it or not, whether you think it's going to be a huge moneymaker or investment book, it doesn't matter. We just showed you spec potential on a modern Moon Knight book that has literally in the own analysis of Key Collector saying there could be three other things, maybe four other things, but this one goes for 20 bucks. We have a OG book. Iron Man 219, awesome, on the cover, mind you, appearance, and on the interior, the ghost is named on the cover as well, going for 20 bucks, and it's, she's already made an appearance in the show, in the movie. She didn't die, right? No, no, no. I don't remember, no, she, I don't remember that movie as well as you she, do. She did not apparently. die, no. No, no, but they did give her kind of like a nice redemptive arc by the end. She wasn't like an outright villain in that movie. Next book cool. on the list, we got another. Minor, but still... Double key. Double key. There Double key. Icon. This right here would be so damn cool if it happens. I don't know if it will. It's kind of a strange superhero story. But I like Icon. I like Milestone. Blood Syndicate. Come on. This right here is where it's at. And in this comic book, we have the first appearance of Icon. Really cool superhero, dude. Long history. Underrated. We also have word of rumors circulating mm. that a project is in development. Okay. So, not just that. What, is, what am I sitting next to over here, Ryan? Static? Static number one, yo. What? Static you number one. It. McDuffie. There it is. It says it right there on the label. McDuffie. Yeah, it's Naomi's last name. Denny's Kawa, come probably, on. Probably intentional. This is what it's about, yo. I got a newsstand copy of Static. What's up? I have not read any Milestone book. Oh, you need to. You do. They're fun, man. It's 90s. It's right? but, it, but it's good 90s. Okay. Like this right here is like There had to be something You wish the Rob 90s. Liefeld can do comic books like these guys did. Uh, do I? Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, man. I just yeah, trying to Cuz you don't like Rob. So like this nah. is this is like this is the closest thing you're going to get to like it's a little bit better for you. But this also has a first preview of Static in a 3-page sneak peek. So, two reasons to spec on this book. $20 average high sales for a book that was sold in a bag. Notoriously difficult to secure in high grade. Nine eights are still affordable. Icon is a great superhero collectible. It's a great run to read. You should, you should read it. Ryan should read it. Come on, fire guy. Ryan. You got to read your milestone. It's important. The whole it, comic fam, milestone is important. I don't know what else to say. You need to read your static. You need to read your blood syndicate. You need to read your icon. Get to it, damn it. I'm, I'm ashamed. It's just a low level of, a sh of, of being a, a little shame over there. I'm just shame, shame on me. Shame, a little bit. But 
I digress. It's okay. There's a lot of comic books you got to read, you know? I do read a lot. You haven't read The Crow yet. I still have your copy. Damn it! Right. That's why you get multiple copies of good trades that you like. Because people right. borrow them and never give them back. Because they love it so much. That's why I have it still. Spider-Gwen, number one. First uh, solo title. Goes for 20 bucks. Are you kidding me? Spider-Gwen? Surprising. It's like... I believe that's what I said out there in the living room. You were like... <laughs> what did you say? What was the exact words that you said? You said like... I thought I said surprising. I think you said like, that's ridiculous. Oh, okay. so You said something yeah. like that. You're like... That's absurd. I'm like, I know, right? 20 bucks? It doesn't make sense. It's Spider-Gwen. Issue one? How many times, comic fam, do I need to go to the mic talking about solo titles of like very popular characters being affordable and then reminding you 20 times that, hey, this book is like a really good opportunity because like movies and stuff and success in comic books and amazing character designs and stellar narratives and multiple variants that make the issue one cover A more attractive by the day because there's like, Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh print. And then those books end up spiking as well. I Dude, I've been doing this show for a long time. How long? A long time? Ten years? Almost four years now. That's nah, nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. We're not even in 4K. Blink of an eye. Jim Mintz got us beat on 4K. Yeah. We're not even in 4K. That's fine. We're not in 4K? Yeah, we're not. Why are we even doing this? I don't know. We may have to restart the podcast. We'll I do it in black and white. This is the premiere issue of the first Spider Grand title series. Take a look at the variant comics that accompany this book. 20 bucks. It's on the rise for good reason. If you can snag it, you should grab it. If you're specking on Miles Morales and you're not specking on Gwen, Spider Gwen, shame on you. If you more believe shame. in more shame. Tom's just throwing shame, shame all shame, over the shame, place. Shame. It's Spider Gwen. After that little trailer dropped this last week. You know what? That's why the green arrow is next to this one. This one is going up. That's right, man. That's, That's what right. green means. I got more Miles and Spider-Gwen to talk about, but we're going to save it to the end of the list because what number are we on? We're on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. That was number 4. Now we're on number 3. We got counting. Two. Boom. Marvel Now point 1. Okay, this is a great book. Why? America Chavez. I think I had this. Dude, she's on the cover. Let's play Can You Find the Superhero Making Their First Cover Appearance on the Cover When Nick Fury Dominates It. Okay, so let's take a look at here. Is that her? Yeah. No, that's Nova. Silly, silly. That's really. Spider-Man. What about this one over here? That's Captain America. That's this guy. That's Captain America. That kind of mm -hmm. looks like a Scarlet Witch. Sorry. A Sc Scarlet Witch, right? Scarlet Witch. Yeah, because the the uh, antennas. No, no, that's Ant Man. Silly. Oh. All right, let's go down here. Okay, you got Cable. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Okay. All right. Well, that's not her. That's not her. That's that's like Wiccan. Okay. What? Oh, there she is. Oh. There's. This is Find yeah. America Chavez on the cover for the first time. It's a fun game. Comic fam, that's why you come here. We play these fun games. You learn fun about specs and key collector stuff. Okay, cool. So we have the first cover appearance. It doesn't matter if it's small. This is the first time she's on it. This right here is a $20 book. America Chavez is coming. Slated for Multiverse of Madness. I really believe in America Chavez. Like, people don't even know. She's coming, and it's going to land with a bang. She's so cool, dude. you're going to do the... Uh... The first lines from The Godfather. Uh, I should, yeah. I believe in America. I'm, oh, I should do that. That's right. good. That's smart, dude. It's just, that's what I need. I need more of that. More like Godfather fun, references. I more got you. like fun references to do on my soundboard. All right, Marvel now point one. First cover appearance of America Chavez, seen on the cover of the comic book being tossed by Nick Fury Jr. Preview of Young Avengers number one. Yes. A preview of Young Avengers one, America Chavez. And it's kind of like, you know, a fun cover because he's like being, he's like throwing a comic book at you. Here, have some comics. I think it's cool. I like it. Okay, Miles Morales spec. We have uh, Miles Morales' sister in Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number 13. This is a $20 book. First appearance of Billy Morales, sister of Miles Morales. We are all waiting for Miles to be confirmed for a live ap action adaptation. We're all freaking out about Into the Spider-Verse. Great. Yeah, it's going to be an epic second movie. Yes, the first one was fantastic. This is multiverse stuff happening alongside of multiverse stuff happening in the MCU. To think that these are going to cross over, that the glitch isn't going to just go full like Simpsons reality, like that one cartoon in the, there was like there was a Simpsons episode I think it was in the Halloween special where Simpsons like enter our reality and there's like a human Homer style and it doesn't matter it's there's something here Miles Morales is coming we all know Miles Morales is coming it's the modern blue chip key your brain is fascinating I need to like do studies on you after you die I'm gonna like donate your brain to like a the university science. hospital and there like you go. see what's going on you're there. gonna open it up and there's gonna be like an overstreet prize guide in there or something like and that real life Homer Simpson yeah, right. And, and Tony Shalhoub. I open it up and it's like I've been Korak the whole time. 
Oh, comic books. Okay, Miles Morales, Spider-Man 13. <laughs> the minute that we find out that Miles Morales is slated, this book is going to go up. It doesn't matter if it's going to take a year. It doesn't matter if Billy Morales is a baby in the movie. It doesn't matter if Billy Morales is even, like, has any potential. Like, they, they don't even tease it. It doesn't matter. Her. They don't even tease her in any way. Family of the characters go up. There's not a whole lot of spec within the Miles Morales lineage. This right here is why this book is selling for 20 bucks. You should have it if you're specking on Miles. That's all I have to say about it. Also, take a look at the second print. Reminds me of Dylan Brock. Yes. Yes, Ryan. How that was just kind of a thing. Yes. And now Dylan Brock is like the co-lead of the Venom book. There we go. Come on, we have over 100 people here today. Oh, hey. Do me a favor. I need you to slap the like button. Gently. We're here. We put the time in. We're going two hours, hot damn, comic fam. That went fast. There's going to be some long clips. Terrific. Okay. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, 13 second print, first cover appearance of Billy Morales. They took the interior panel, put it right on the cover, family moment on the cover. Specking on Miles, take a look at that. Last but not least, number one on our list of 10 today, we have Spider-Man, issue number 12. This right here is the first Miles and Gwen kiss in comic books. What is this homage to? Why does it say number one up there? It's the Marvel one. Like they they do like the restart, but it is number 12. Oh, that's so confusing. This yep. is an homage to uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man from 2000 and zero. Was it 2000, 2001? Whatever. Yep. Uh, Spider-Man movie. movie. Uh, if, if I have to tell you what this is an homage to, I guess, then you're in bad shape. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Watch you know, more movies. Comic fam, the moment that we see Mary Jane and Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire, that, that kiss, that upside down kiss, it's been memed. It's been redone in other movies. Um, it's been redone as jokes. It's been redone in homage. In the OC? In the OC, it was homage. It happened in the OC, you guys. That's right. Ryan knows his stuff. This was done in comics because it was such a big deal. We would be fools to think that this moment that is homaged on the cover with Spider-Gwen also upside down is not going to be a modern key book. Enough said. I'm just, I'm just getting lost in the romance. It's beautiful. It's also a book that goes for 20 bucks. It's not on the high end. Like it's not on the up, upward trajectory right now. But this right here is undervalued. 20 bucks all day long. If you find a near mint copy, pay 30 bucks for it and be happy. And again, this is on my mind because in that recent trailer for Enter the Spider-Verse 2... He was clearly infatuated with Gwen Stacy, making little creepy drawings of her. There's no <laughs> or like, sweet drawings. He's making little creepy drawings, right? Comic fan, there's, there's a second. Uh, there's also a variant that you need to know. Here we go. Issue number twelve. We have a variant cover. Negative space. Oh, they're holding hands. They're holding. I, I just hands. now realized that. Okay. Now here's the thing. They're holding hands. They're not kissing on the cover. I do like the cover a because they're actually kissing. That graded. That's gonna go on people's walls, yo. That's going to be in a frame. I got to get that in the studio. It's a moment. It's beautiful. Will your parents allow that much romance? No, nah, they're very conservative and yeah. strict. Holding hands is okay. They're religious. But no smooching. Don't even look. I'm just kidding. No, they're not actually any of those things. But Spider-Man number 12, 1 in 25, variant art by Richard Isinov. $150 for this variant, high average sale. Again, when the variants are 10x what the cover A's are going for, and there is some spec room on it. When it happens, that means that the spec is realer than you are, than there, it's realer than expected. Expect, it's been two hours, comic fam. Hot damn. Bags and Boards podcast number 50. We appreciate you today. Starting the auction off at $1 for one minute, like we always do. This is one of our favorite covers, and you got it. A little bit of that, what y'all been looking for, right? A little bit of that, but what y'all been looking for, right?